been a while. Uh, I was going to be doing a podcast. Uh, that's where these videos would have picked up. Now, uh, there has been setbacks. Of course, everybody gets setbacks in their life. Um, yeah, today... Today's been a pretty bad day. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but it was a pretty bad day. Um, I'm not emotional about it. It's, I'm more drained. Um, so, yeah. It got me to the point where I started thinking about something that I was working on last night. Uh, it was another video. It was relatively short, but I wanted to elaborate on it. Uh, risk versus reward. Uh, of course, everybody can understand that. That, hey, you know, you got to step outside to go do something whatever uh that was a horrible analogy um my my head's still a little reeling from the day but no uh risk versus reward um whether you're working at burger king or whatever minimum wage job and you know hey the risk of me going to college. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be in debt or whatever from student loans or anything else. Um, depending on what type of job you have, you might have to leave that if you want to go back to college or back to school, I should say. Um, but the reward that you actually took the initiative to make things better, yes, that's totally worth it. You could have a better job, make more money, um, a better comfort of life. Um, for some reason, even though I never went to college, uh, I always seem to talk about going back to college and all that other type of stuff to improve your life. You don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, it's the reason I say that is because that's the number one go-to no matter who you talk to whether it be your grandparents or whatever um, I, I mean making a career change going from like being a line cook to I don't know general laborer something whatever the comfort of life for you that's the type of risk that you need to take in consideration it's like you're changing your line of job your empl excuse me your employment is like a warehouse position more fitting for you versus a kitchen yeah you know it, i guess that's a little bit better um way to look at it Instead of just like, oh, going to college. Um, I mean, me, I've done mixed martial arts. Like, I had that set. And I got hurt. I got hurt again. And I got hurt again. And I got hurt again. So it never really picked up. Um, I didn't want to go through the bullshit again of putting in all that hard work just to have it crush me again and then crush me again no matter how many times I rebuilt myself uh, I my life has been up and down up and down up and down up and down crash burn crash burn rebuild all that uh, yeah not everybody's perfect I'm not my teeth are fucked I'm smoking uh, yeah. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, 
um, a couple of days ago. Might have been last week. Um, he was given a perspective, giving a perspective on some things. And he said, you know, well, who am I to give that type of, you know, criticism or help or anything else like that? When it's better coming from somebody who is at the bottom, who sees the way up, than somebody who is up at the top looking down. Sometimes the views are different. Granted, somebody at the top will tell you to go left. When you're looking up, that's right. Going to the right instead of the left, but perspective changes. That person at the bottom might say, oh, he means for me to go left, to my left, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that right there is where the challenge comes in on whether to go with what your brain goes and te tells you to do and what your heart tells you to do. Top and bottom. Those are perspectives that you have. Sometimes your heart tells you to go somewhere, not the best place. Sometimes your brain tells you to go somewhere, it's not, you're not feeling it. That's the challenge of life on what you are comfortable with, on trying to find that middle, that center of what your brain and what your heart says. Some people in life never find that. They're always going with one or the other and never really looking to find that piece, that center piece puzzle. Not the actual oh, piece, but I'm never happy with whatever I do. And that's mainly because I'm constantly looking for that center, that, that piece. And every time I think that I have it, the conflict starts picking up pace, intensity. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to live in the struggle. I'm constantly going to have that battle. Because I'm never going to be satisfied. I'm always going to be self-doubting things. So, with me going forward after this, and what you should be going for after this, is to find that closest piece that you have, that center between your brain and your heart, and keep it. That might be the easiest thing ever, is just keeping it. Honestly, a lot of people are be like, yeah, you gotta fight to keep what you have and all that stuff. That's coming from people who don't have that peace, that never found it. They're always trying to get to the top and to the top. But like, sometimes you need to just be like, hey, where I'm at right now, yeah, it's pretty leveled. All right, cool. Everybody wants to build a better life. Uh, nobody's ever comfortable with what they have. Are you comfortable with what you have? If so, keep it. Everybody wants to have money. Everybody wants to have wealth. Everybody wants to have that mansion, bar by the poolside, all that stuff. Have you ever been just comfortable with like a $400 apartment?
Do you get more money in your pocket? I mean, let's think about it. If you get like a million dollar mansion, how much are you going to be paying in property taxes? No matter what you do, there's going to be consequences. So risk versus a reward is the risk of being happy with what you have worth the reward. Do you have the skill set? Do you have the will, the ambition to take it a step f further? There's a challenge. So I'm going to end that there so that the next video can pick up on it. I'm never just going forward. I'm not just going to make one video that's going to have the story, the morals, compass, whatever, and then end. And then, hey, I'm going forward with what he just said for this video, whatever. No. I'm going to elaborate more. It's going to be a saga for the topic, I guess. Who knows? I mean, right now, are you happy? Right now, after making this video, I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. A little bit better about my day, I should say. Much love. You'll be hearing from me soon.